Justice case here with this. Joyce, last question to you just from a, a legal perspective here. We're hearing the White House say uh, the president was merely tweeting something that was dictated by his counsel to a member of the White House staff. In other words, there's a chain that leads to that tweet being sent. Does that matter from a legal perspective? Is there a plausible deniability issue here? So first I have to say I agree with Liz 100%. Okay. If I was the president's lawyer and if I had access to his Twitter account, the first thing I would do would be to delete it entirely um, because these sorts of uh, conversations he's having are really hurting his own interests. Look, presidents make statements all the time, and they don't write them themselves. Their staff writes them, their lawyers write them. A tweet is no different than a paper statement. At the point in time where the president adopts it, it's his statement, and he's accountable and responsible for it no matter who drafted it. So this may well cause him some legal problem down the road. Thanks to all of you. Appreciate it on this Sunday. That's Kurt Bardella, Joyce Vance, and Liz Smith joining me here in New York. And the Wall Street Journal has a new report out today saying that President Trump is undermining his chief of staff, John Kelly's attempts to impose discipline in the White House.